for today's quick tech tip of the day. I am going to show you some shortcuts for zoom controls. Um, bear with me because I have my cheat sheet because I haven't uh, memorized them all yet. First one I think is the most important one um, being if you're either a host or a participant is how to you mute yourself without having to move your mouse or go to your touchpad. Uh, and that is command shift A. So if I do command shift A, if you're looking right down here where my mute is, it should mute it when I do command shift A and it mutes myself. And when I want to unmute myself, command shift A. So that's a nice one to remember. The next one, if you are the meeting host, let me unmute myself over here. And so it's gonna, it might sound a little funky right now. You wanna, in order to mute everybody, you're going to do command control M and that's muting everybody except for the host. So it's command control M. Current and new participants will be muted, continue, and now they are muted. These are just for um, Mac right now, and I will show you where to find them for PCs and for the iOS and Android devices. Now, if I want to uh, turn on and off my video, that V for video, and so that's Command Shift V. And so now I've turned off my video and turned it back on. And then if I want to start or stop a screen share, that is Command Shift S. Command Shift S, and it's gonna ask me where I want to do my screen share, so that's perfect. And then that's also to turn it off to Command Shift S. If I want to um, have a view change of going from gallery view to speaker view, that is Command Shift W, Command Shift W, and now I can see gallery versus speaker view. And then um, another one that you might like is having to view the participant lists. Like I have that all the time. If I want to look at raising hands or if I want to push something out to them or see who's in my meeting and that is command U. So just command U and I get my participant lists and doing command U again, will close out that participant list. Command shift H will bring open the chat. So command shift H, here's my chat and it closes it when you do that again. I'm not in full screen. You see that I'm not in full screen because right here, um, but if I want to go to full screen and not want to do my mouse, mouse, sorry, that's command shift F for full command shift F that will get me to full screen. And then I will also go back command shift F to get me out of full screen. I always like my meeting controls down here, but sometimes when I'm screen sharing or if I need to see everybody and I want to minimize those meeting controls, this is a longer one. It's control, option, command, and H. Control, option, command, H. Oh, I don't know if that worked. Control, option, command, H. My meeting controls, maybe it's because of my setting, so pardon me for that one. And then if I want to end my meeting, it's just command W. So you're going to see me go away from this zoom screen right now. So command W, it'll ask me, do you want to end it for all? Or do I just want to leave it? I'm the host. I'm going to end it for all. And now I'm going to try and show you if you go into the zoom help center and you can just easily Google hotkeys or keyboard shortcuts for zoom and it'll bring you here and this will show you. Uh, all of the different shortcuts for each of the different platforms. So Mac is the first one and it goes through all the shortcuts. I did not show you everything because I just did the ones that I think that you would use most often. And then if you're a Windows user, you click on Windows and you can see the Windows shortcuts. They're all the same. Uh, typically, most of them are the same. Uh, you just, instead of Command, it's Alt. And then you have Linux and iOS. And so those are all of the different shortcuts that you can use. I hope you found this helpful. Have a great rest of the day.